Hello folks, uh, the start of the new session, I am starting uh, 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 paper 5, uh, it will be a very good start to, 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 uh, to your college days, uh, because I think uh, as in my uh, institutions, uh, your institution will also start uh, paper 5 right away. In my, uh, in the institution that I work, uh, what, I, what I do is, I start paper 5 right from the beginning, I don't postpone it for uh, some other days so that people can get a very good grounding on it and uh, my aim in life has been to been to not right now my aim is to uh, to ensure that uh, at least one student of mine score 30 out of 30 in paper 5 so la in last may june uh, two of them scored 29 out of 30 the highest scores so uh, i hope to uh, i hope that one day at least one of them will score 30 out of 30. So I put on some extra effort on paper 5. Paper 1 and 3, yes, people have done. Now uh, it is 3. It is 5 actually, my aim. So uh, this time I have a question of uh, 2019, October, November, paper 5, 3. And the question number is 2. So I start from 2 because 2 is more objective and uh, uh, we, can, we, can, uh, we can ensure a higher score if you follow a certain pattern. But in case of number one, I uh, think are slightly di different. So the question starts like this. A student is investigating how the discharge of a capacitor through a resistor depends on the resistance of the resistor. The equipment is set up by stone. So we have the equipment here. Uh, this is power source. Uh, we have a key here. This key can sometimes connect to the source and sometimes to the resistor. This is the capacitor. This is the uh, uh, potential um, uh, voltage. Uh, sorry. This is the voltmeter uh, which can uh, measure the PD across the capacitor. This is a resistor. A student charges the capacitor of capacitance C and then discharges it through the resistor of resistance R. Yes. After 15.0 seconds, the student uh, records the potential difference V across the capacitor. So uh, here C records the potential difference after 15 seconds. The student repeats this process for different values of R. So he repeats this process with uh, different different values of this R. So now in the next uh, page we have it is suggested that V and R are related to by the equation V equal to V naught uh, e to the power minus T by CR it's an it's a regular expression for the uh, for the PD where V naught is the initial potential difference at the very beginning across the capacitor and T is the time uh, over which the capacitor is discharged so T is Actually, it is 15.0 second here. Uh, number A. So the first question is, a graph is plotted of L and V. It is natural log V on the Y axis against 1 by R on the X axis. Express the gradient in terms of C. So the, our first uh, thing that we we'll do is, we have to express the gradient in terms of C. So let's change uh, this equation. So if I if you take uh, uh, ln at uh, both sides of the equation, it will be uh, ln v is equal to is equal to ln v naught plus ln e power minus t by c r. So I simply uh, split it in, in the very beginning. So this will be uh, this will be so um, ln e something means the same term here. So it will be, it will be uh, minus T by CR uh, plus ln V naught. So equal to, uh, I have to have 1 by R on the x-axis. So I, I separate it 1 by R here. The remaining is minus T by C uh, plus ln V naught. ln V naught. So, 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 uh, if I consider, so we have to draw ln V in the y-axis. So this is the y, y coordinate here, y-axis. So this is the x-axis, so x, so it means the term before x should be equal to the gradient m and this should be the uh, y-intercept c. So the gradient here should be equal to minus t by c, right, you see, which uh, fetches us one mark. Now values of r and v uh, for t equal to uh, 15.0 second are given figure of uh, 2 by 2, so we have got to a table here with five values of R and five values of V and what we need to do is calculate and record values of 1 by R expressed in terms of 10 to the power minus 6 per ohm and ln 
ln v and here uh, v v is in terms of volt so so that this ln v becomes uh, a simple number here so a simple number will have no units so we have to include the absolute uncertainties in ln v so let's go for this thing so first of all we have to do for r and r does not have error so when r does not have error uh, what do we have to do is if I do the reciprocal of R, if I do that in the uh, calculator, so let me do in the calculator. So uh, R is 6.67 uh, kilo ohm means uh, into 1000. So when I do its reciprocal, the quantity becomes the quantity becomes a huge thing here. The quantity becomes a huge thing here. So let me write it here. The quantity becomes even becomes it is uh, 0 0.0001499. To five somewhat like this so how much digit should I write so this thing is determined by <coughs> by the graph here because the graph is the only tool which determines this thing since this does not have error error cannot decide it so the deciding factor here will be the graph as I have stressed on other papers also is the graph that will decide this whole thing so 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 let me look at the graph here so in the graph, this one by R has got something like this. So here we have uh, 10 division equal to 20. So 10 division is equal to equal to 20. That means uh, 1 division is equal to 2. Division is equal to 2. Or if I do half division, it will be equal to 1. So that means that, that, means that uh, we can write up to, when I write this quantity, the least uh, thing that I can uh, express is somewhat like this. So if it is... Uh, 121.23 something so it should be 121 only because the least uh, count from uh, as expressed from the graph is uh, this two two means that it is in the unit place so we have to round it off in the unit place it can go beyond to the decimal so 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 when i do this uh, uh, this thing when i do this uh, reciprocal reciprocal so uh, our decision has been made that we have to write it up to the uh, the unit place unit place so the quantity that I have with uh, right now uh, with me is for the first thing it is this much so when I express in terms of 10 to the power minus 6 it will be equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it should be equal to 149.10 sorry 149.925 into 10 to the power minus 6 so it should be equal to so since I can write only up to here, it should be equal to, this should be, when I round it off here, it is a 0 and it becomes 5. So it is 150. So the first thing here is, should be equal to 150. So in the second, I have got, so 10, uh, 10 kilo ohm. So 10,000 reciprocal is, reciprocal becomes uh, 0 0.0001, 0, 0, and so on. So on, so when it it changes into uh, 10 to the power minus, it should be equal to uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it is 100.000 something into 10 to the power minus 6. I have to round it off here. So it should be equal to 100. So it should be 100. And for third, it will be equal to, so when I do it in the calculator, so 15,000 kilo uh, reciprocal will be equal to equal to 6.6666 into 10 to the power minus 5 so when i use it uh, in terms of 10 to the power minus 6 it will be equal to one power will go here so it is 66.666 into 10 to the power minus 6 so we have to round it off here so when all of these round off it will be equal to 67 into 10 to the power minus 6 so it is 67 Again, for the next thing, I have got uh, 20,000 reciprocal becomes so 5.000000 into 10 to the power minus 5. So when it, we change to 10 to the power minus, it will be equal to 50.0000 into 10 to the power minus 6. So equal to 50 into 10 to the power minus 6. So it is 5050. And the last one is last one becomes uh, if it, so it is. 33 into 10 to the power minus 6. 
Now, in this thing, uh, this thing is the LNV here, it has got error. So the first thing that we have to do is, we have to find error. Uh, and then uh, we, we have to write uh, quantities according to the rules. So what I am doing here is, I am exactly following the rules. So it's not uh, something that is allowed. I am following the rules only. So now, first, let me find the uh, error here, log, log error here. Or I can do, let, let me uh, calculate the LNV as well. The, in the first quantity, LNV is equal to 1.28093 something something. And the error is, the error in any log quantity is equal to, so delta in LGX is equal to LGX plus delta X minus LGX. So here it will be equal to delta in LNV is equal to LNV plus delta V minus LNV. And that becomes equal to, I can write it as LNV plus delta V by V equal to LN. 1 plus delta v by v so if i apply this formula my error uh, here will be equal to so let's calculate uh, so 1 plus insert bracket uh, delta v is uh, 0.2 by 3.6 whole thing and then this becomes equal to equal to equal to equal to it is 0 0.054067 so now, the number of digits uh, allowed for writing error is either 1 or 2 SF. Either 1 or 2 SF. But for uh, precision in the graphs, so I prefer that you write 2. You write 2 because the graph will become more precise if you do this way. So when I write this, it will be, this is not significant, this is significant, and this is significant. So I have to write till uh, 0 0.054 so it is plus minus 0 0.054 then this quantity should be written up to uh, here so it be equal to uh, the error starts from the second digit after decimal so I have to truncate the quantity quantity right at the second digit after decimal so error starts from the second digit after decimal this quantity should be written only till the second uh, after decimal so you can uh, find uh, my lectures here regarding the rules here so it's equal to 1.28 now in the second case I've got if I do the same formula I'll have uh, 1 plus uh, 0 0.2 by 5 equal to and then equal to in the second case is equal to error is uh, 0 0.03922 and if I do uh, ln 5.0, it will be equal to 1.60, 1.60943. So, 2SF is, it is simply 0 0.039. And the formal quantity should be written only up to here. So, it's equal to 1.6. And so, this uh, all these things round off here. So, it should be equal to 1 because it's 9 there. So in the third, I have got the error becomes, uh, the error becomes, uh, if I do calculations here, um, so it's, it is 0 0.03077, 3077, uh, and the quantity becomes, uh, becomes um, 1.85629 and so on. So we can write only up to here, so it is. When I round off here, it will be equal to 31. So, plus minus 0 0.031. So, this becomes, uh, I can write only up to here. So, all of these things round off here. So, it is 1.8686. Then, then, <coughs> excuse me. So, next the error becomes, next error becomes. So, uh, if I do calculations here. Uh, 0 0.2 by 7 by 2 plus 1 ln equal to uh, 0 0.02734 and the quantity becomes ln 7 by 2 is equal to 1.974 1 1.97408 so 2SF here only 0 0.027 so plus minus 0 0.027 
and I can write only up to the second digit so it's equal to 4 so it is 1.97 1.97 now the last one if it calculation so of the errors so 0 0.2 by uh, 8.0 plus 1 ln equal to so it is uh, 0 0.02469 and ln 8.0 is equal to 2.07944 so it is 2.07944 so only 2SF we can add only, only this thing so it is when this is 6 9 round off here it becomes uh, 5 0 0.025 so plus minus 0 0.025 and if I uh, so uh, I can only have this digit so this thing will round off here so it becomes 2.08 2.08 so this fills our table so here what we have done is we have expressed the error in an uh, uh, uncertainty in 2SF for uh, precision purpose and then uh, we have written the formal quality according to the according to the rules that we have so i have just followed the rules here it's not something allowed in mark scheme they have written what is allowed and uh, they have written something that is to be written and then allowed also and one thing one more thing that we have to take care of is we have uh, i ha i have uh, i have uh, tried to use 2sf in the error because uh, uh, that is uh, that is one of the rules plus uh, we want to have more uh, precision or accuracy in the in the graph so that's why I use this you can use one SF also but uh, that uh, sometimes uh, uh, make the graph very very uh, very very grainy type of graph rough type of graph so that's why I'm using 2SF